how to install Android S or Android 12 Beta 1 on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Panchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Android S or Android 12 Beta 1 on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have TWRP recovery installed. How do you do that? We have separate videos for those which can be found in the description of the video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not, and I repeat, do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent. Another thing you need to make sure is that you have a backup of all the pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device. Another important thing to note over here is that in some cases you might have your recovery replaced with some other recovery and that I think is because of some firmware issues. Now my process, I was using MIUI 12 which was the latest stable for my region however if you're on some custom ROM or some EU ROM, you might have your recovery replaced. In that case, the developer does recommend that you flash some ROM which is based on AOSP first in case you do not want your recovery to be replaced or me personally, I would suggest have access to a computer and flash the recovery using a computer in case you run into that issue. We or me, I did not run into that issue. Another thing I would like to mention is that do note this is a port and it is not supposed to run on your device so do not expect it to be perfect there will be some issues and of course do read the pinned comment on this video because all the issues what is working what is not working will be mentioned in the pinned comment and i will keep on updating it regularly as i keep on discovering new things so again do make sure you read the pinned comment on the video all right so here we are on miui 12 based on android 10 First up, we will go into settings and then you will go into password and security, remove your password, fingerprint and face unlock. Once that is done, go back, go into me account and remove your me account. Once that is done, go back, go into accounts and sync and remove your Google account. Once you have removed all the accounts and security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. Now, why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? We're doing this because we're going from one ROM to another and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device next up what are the files which you need all the files which you need are linked in the description of the video so for starters you need android 12 and yes this is a gsi port of the latest beta 1 and it is a zip file somewhere around 2.45 gb then you need disable force encryption and you also need the permissive file as i mentioned earlier links to all of these can be found in the description of the video next up we are going to turn off our device and once the device is turned off we need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the custom recovery logo and here it is we are on the team win logo if you get this notification about allow modifications make sure you do swipe to allow modifications next up go into wipe advanced wipe select dalvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe once that is done tap on the home button go into install now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder if you transferred them from your computer, you would know where they are. So we will go in the download folder. First file you need to select is the Android 12 for Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Add more zips. Next up, disable force encryption. Add more zips. Select the permissive file and then swipe to confirm flash. Now once the flashing process has finished, you might get this error fail to mount system underscore root. Ignore it. We will scroll up and make sure everything was flashed without any issues. So here it is Android 12 beta build, flashing system, vendor boot, VB meta and the other stuff. Install completed, no errors, script succeeded, result was 1. Next up, disable force encryption is being flashed and with disable force encryption, you do need to make sure it is patching some f stab in vendor slash etc as you can see over here the f stab was patched and here it is permissive was also flashed without any issues done tap on the home button next up going to wipe format data type in yes and then 
tap on the check mark on the bottom right do note format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device and there it is after format data also we got this error about fail to mount system underscore root just ignore it tap on the home button and before i forget the version of twrp recovery which i am using is linked in the description of the video next up reboot select system if you get the message that no os is installed ignore it swipe to reboot and there it is we do have the dark google boot animation on our redmi k20 pro which means we are booting into android s or android 12 beta 1 on our device the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and bam there it is we are getting the internal problem just ignore this error and select ok and now something is crashing close this as well do note you are executing or you have installed something which is not supposed to be run on your device so do expect some errors anyways we can go into settings and then you can go into about phone and as you can see model is mentioned as pixel 5 because this is a port from the pixel 5 gsi android version of course is set as s the kernel they're using is immensity kernel and there it is peeps do note that monet is not enabled out of the box and if you want to enable the new style of quick settings you do have to toggle this system ui gfx once that is enabled system ui will of course restart and bam there it is we do have the new ui for your quick settings with the brightness slider and the tiled style now before i forget we can also Turn off our device and boot back into recovery to see whether TWRP recovery was replaced or not. So here it is as you can see we still have the TWRP recovery of course swipe to allow modifications if the touch is not working wait for the drivers to load and bam here it is TWRP recovery is of course intact and there were no issues with respect to the recovery getting replaced and there it is peeps that is how you install android 12 beta 1 on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you